All right, an update right now and some breaking news we have been following all morning for you. This one, that toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. So we've been telling you this morning that we have had video journalist Nick Sorter heading to the scene of the derailment to bring us a live report again from that very area. We're told Nick did go to the scene. He made it there but then told our producers he got so sick from the fumes that he was unable to come back on live television for that live report. Again, that according to the video journalists we've sent out there, um, or he was headed out there on their own and he was going to report for us, unable to do so, reporting again that he uh, felt ill after arriving on scene. This coming after Ohio Governor Mike DeWine tweeting, Quote, I spoke with the White House early this morning to address the need for federal help in East Palestine. As a result of this conversation, I have requested assistance from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Health and Emergency Response Team, and the CDC to provide direct support. Now, this comes as Senators J.D. Vance and Sherrod Brown are set to visit that very scene this afternoon. Not only the two senators, but the administrator of the EPA heading to the site as well. A, a developing situation again in East Palestine. It continues to get uh, even more attention, all spilling over after that town hall last evening. It was going to be, remember, this town is about 5,000 in population. Well, they had such an outcry from the residents in East Palestine that they had to move that town hall to a gymnasium and even fill that one up with frustrated residents and families that live out in that area. They're concerned about the drinking water. They're concerned about air quality. They're also concerned about the soil. That's, again, one of the big focuses there, the, the soil, which apparently some of these chemicals are still in embedded within that area. We continue to follow that story and more, again, out of East Palestine with two senators and an EPA administrator visiting later today.